Ladies and gentlemen, hey, I am still around. I am back. I'm sorry I wasn't able to get my video up last week for those of you who are still wanting to see how the Spider Co. diet is going and everything along those lines. Um, yeah, we're good. Uh, I, I had an incredibly busy week, so I was not able to uh, update a video. My apologies. But as you guys can tell, I have continued um, moving on and trying to give you guys the best um, results understandings and my observations based on a lot of the um, different spider co options and steals and things out there so um, here are the four I've been able to grab in the last couple of weeks so um, quick update bo uh, in my last video I did have uh, two Delicas um, one of them was in crewwear the other one is s90v well I had the option to uh, pick up this um, Crew wear shaman, uh, a uh, knife joker exclusive, and um, so I did end up selling my Delica in order to try and broaden my horizons in a different, um, not necessarily a different steel, obviously in this case, but in a model that I did not have, being the shaman. Um, uh, so yeah, there's that. I did finally. Um, I've been waiting for the right one. But I did finally get a Manix 2. Um, this is the St. Nick Knives version in a 4V. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really impressed with it. So uh, I, I've been waiting around to get one of those for a little while now. Um, I did get the Sprint Run um, Stretch 2 with the straight spine um, in VG10. So this is not a new steel. Um, those of you that have watched my other videos, I do have the Firefly in VG10 as well, but I did want to try another stretch too, um, just in a little bit of a difference because my um, Vitoku 2 version was kind of a letdown for me, not in, in terms of the steel, it just, I, I felt like the quality control on it was, in, was, was pretty poor. So, um, and then I did end up um, nabbing the Sprint Run Pingo, um, the Vox and Anzo collab that they did. And obviously, as those of you that know, this one is in LMAX. So um, I have been able to give a few of these a uh, run, and I'm, I, I'm incredibly impressed. Um, so VG10, VG10 is not a steel that I'm new to, um, something that I've used a lot in the past. But I do have to say, I, I do prefer this straight spine version over the uh, other stretch which which is surprising because I actually thought I'd enjoy the uh, other stretch too you know that has the uh, more um, indented uh, spine and everything so rather than the straight but this is this is an absolutely incredible one and I've really liked it fits in the hand well I, I'm someone who really likes the finger choil so it just feels really good in the hand and this one's great um yeah, I mean, there, there's not much I can say that hasn't been said in other videos, so I won't go on about it for a long time. But it's a very, very good knife, and I can see myself using this one a lot. And obviously, VG10 holding a great edge. Um, this is the newest of them I've had. I've only had this one a few days. It has gone out to the cardboard um, woodshed with me and basically chopped through a lot of cardboard and a lot of stuff. And those, um, like I said, I, uh, th I've i used LMAX before as well. Um I feel that this one is a bit better than the Zero Tolerance I had um, a few LMAXs before on, and it, it's performing incredibly well. Those of you that have used LMAX and know it, um, it, it it's great. Um, what do I think about the blade itself? Um, I like it. I, I feel that it, it's, it's fun. It, it's a nice little gentleman carry, I think. Um, I wouldn't feel weird having it in slacks, something along those lines. Um, you can tell the size difference. I mean, it's not a, a slouch in size. It's not tiny, but um, it, it's also not huge. So it's really good with that. Um, it is the slip, and it, it's it's a decent push, um, you know, pressure to, to get it back in there. But it's not as strong as some of the others that I've seen. The Urban has quite a bit of pressure that you have to apply to get it to go to the half stop or even close. So it's really good though. I, I like it. Um, once again, these foreign ones, though any of these that seem to come out of Seki City 
or Italy or Taiwan, I, I, with the exception of the McBee. The McBee was perfect. Um, but they all seem to have some centering issues. And th this is very superficial, guys. It's The, the blade is fine. I, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to use it. It's not a big deal. But, I mean, on a sprint run, you can see that some of these are have it. I have tightened the pivot. I've tightened... Um, the back screws everything to make sure that nothing was out that was causing this um, As near as I can tell it's a grinding issue to where it's just ground too much on one side once again It, it is superficial. There's nothing rubbing up on the liners And so I'm gonna keep it. it's a great blade and I'm gonna use it, but yeah, I mean you 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 buy a sprint run Spyderco and you see that's your centering for something that um, is in this price range and that, that's a little bit of a letdown. So um, I, I do think that there are some um, Quality concerns related to it. I mean and and those of you that saw my first video with the uh, stretch to the V Toku to um, One I mean this one is not perfectly centered either as you can tell I mean, It's not terrible once again. This is superficial but some of these sprint runs go for a decent amount of money. And like I said, I mean, it's not like it's, I'm going to take it back, but you, you see that the, these don't center as well as others. I'm trying to catch it and give you guys a good view where do, I'm not angling it poorly, but you guys can see that. I mean, that, that, that's kind of a letdown. So yeah, it, it is what it is and it's not a big deal. But overall, yeah, it sucks when you have a sprint run that doesn't do that. So um, yeah, my my... Like I said, they, they perform, they're great little blades, they're great, incredible options as far as steels, as far as, you know, like titanium liners and things like that um, on this one. They're, they're great, but it, it, it sucks to have that. Now, I mean, I have really liked these two. Um, up until recently, the Native 5 was probably my favorite in the hand of, um, for, for any of my Spydercos. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. So I wasn't incredibly surprised when the Shaman, when I took it out, I've got big mitts, guys. I've got huge hands. But this just felt so good with the curved edges, everything along the lines. Just everything was almost perfect. I mean, I love this thing. And it fits in the hand incredibly well. I love the jimping. Um... The, uh, obviously you can see the centering on this thing is perfect. Once again, anything made in Colorado seems to be perfect. Um, I've had, had zero issues on, you know, you know fit and finish. Um, but I, I've been really incredibly impressed with this one. And obviously I'm not going to tell you guys anything that you haven't seen before. But the one thing that obviously um, bums me out about this, which... I would say the only thing keeping it from like a perfect knife in every single way is, and, and it's not a big deal, but it's just that little nub on with the compression lock there. You got to kind of work around it. So, I mean, it's hard. You can open it with the compression, but I mean, I've got big fingers, so I can basically get a fingernail down there and closing it. If you're not quick enough, it will run into your finger as you're closing it up, but, um, opening it with a thumb pull or doing the spider flick and everything, um, which of course I can't do while I'm on camera here, um, is going to be fine. It's going to be great. So yeah, love this blade. Um, this might be my favorite one so far, uh, which I, I wasn't really expecting, um, but I wasn't incredibly surprised, but I thought the native would still um, be my favorite in the hand. And uh, that's no longer the case. This shaman is incredible. Um, so now let's go on to my uh, new Manix 2. Those of you that saw earlier, um, these went, went up on St. Nick's Knives. Um, once again, centering is perfect on this guy. Love it. Love the red. Really, really think this is great. Um, so... Basically, what do I think of this one now having get, gotten a Manix for the first time as well? Um, first off, and you, I'm not going to be telling you guys a lot that you haven't already heard, but ergos are incredible. Um, so I like ergos for a couple of different ways. One is I'm a big finger choil guy, and this thing ha is about as good as a knife can feel in the hand for three different positions, at least for my big mitts. Number one, this is probably my standard use as I'm whittling and doing things or utilizing a knife. I like having the finger trail option there. I like having my um, 
my thumb up on the ramp on the jimping right there and just being able to really go to go to town and torque away on something um but this is big enough that my big mitts can just hold it like this as well where you're not utilizing the finger trail and i really like that you can get into something you can really do it if you're if you're worried or you're working in a wet environment where don't get me wrong this jimping is incredible but if you're if you're just skittish and you don't want to see your um finger slide or anything can you back up of course yeah and you've got like you've now got a huge ramp you'd have to get over as an added security. I love the, um, you know, kind of stippling, not, not really, I wouldn't call it jimping, but the, the liner here where they have that absolutely fantastic and very last, the reverse grip on this thing. Guys, this, this is the only Spyderco that I've ever felt the reverse grip is actually as good as the standard grip, in my opinion. Um, absolutely fantastic really really have loved all of these and they're they're great now some of my concerns are going to be things that you've seen uh, a lot of but yeah i don't love the plastic um portion here for um the you know the ball lock and everything i think that fe that kind of adds a cheapness feel to it but i mean it's not bad it's not like it's going to break it's just you have a knife made out of such high quality materials and it feels great in the hand and then you kind of feel like this plastic and it, it just takes away a little of the allure um you can upgrade them i know flytanium does a titanium one hopefully they'll they'll run around again you guys will be able to see those they're great you can do a lot of things um with them i i think that that that's kind of my really only big gripe is that kind of adds a cheapness feel to it um but i mean it, it's absolutely a great knife, incredible steel. Um, I plan on using it. Yes, I got the exclusive and I do plan on using it. Oh, yeah, kind of thing like that. But they're they're great. There is just something, even though I don't think the ergos are quite as good on this one, the blade, how much uh, blade I get and just the feel of it in the standard grip in my hand and my big mitts here. I gotta say guys, th this is probably my favorite one so far. This is not far behind, not at, not at all, but oh man, do I love the Shaman. So um, as far as performance, 4V is performing incredibly well. There's my dog barking, sorry guys. Um, 4V is performing incredibly well. I really, really like the performance on it and the, being able to utilize something that strong. Um, the crew wear is incredible as well and it tears through stuff and it holds an incredible edge. These are great guys. Um, I apparently have to go answer a door or something. My dogs are barking. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys soon.